Hey everybody, it's the Old World Gamer, and I'm coming back to you guys with some more Pokemon. So, yeah, still on Gat Import. Uh, just did some exploring around, got a few things, and uh, I guess we're gonna go back to that little hut that's over there as well. At least try to. Oh, great. And we gotta spin this thing around a couple times, it looks like, so. <clears throat> and what, once more should do it, I think? Hurry up, come on. And one last spin. It's so exact, why aren't you right in the middle? It's so weird. There we go. That's so raven. I mean, wait, what? Okay, now let's try this. See what's in the little hut. Hopefully somebody important lives there. I don't know. You know, I don't know. And then again, it's a little tiny. Yeah, look at this now. There's an island far from the coast of Gadian Port. It's surrounded by vicious ocean currents. However, no one can go near it. Of course, everyone around these parts knows better than go near that island in the first place. Why is that? Now, everybody, I'm not from these parts. Thanks for all the vagueness there, dude. That was awesome. Okay, we can get out here to the left, so that's best kind. Uh, so yeah, this part seems to be going a little bit slower than you'd really want it to, but I guess this, this is the whole thing with fetch quests, is, you know, you don't, you don't going to be fighting all the time or anything. I just don't like the, the, the fact that there's no grass that I can go and fight random Pokemon in. I just got to get whatever shadow Pokemon I come across. That's the only disappointing thing. But I mean, so far they, they've given you a pretty cool Pokemon for uh, for your Shadow Pokemon. So, I mean, uh, no complaints. Except for that Lady Bi. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it just does not seem like something that's overly ferocious or anything, right? Well, my Ladybug's gonna come and get you. <laughs> it's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get the order in. How's your director, Professor Crane, doing? Oh, well, I guess you don't know then, do you? So explain what happens to Per, Huh? The HQ Labs director was abducted by some goons with shadow Pokemon. I've been through something like that before, but who would have thought it happened again? You went through something like that? Was he in the last game or something? The Coliseum? Hope the lab director's found. I'll be rooting for you. So don't give up! And we will not give up. We've only just started this quest. I have no idea how long this game is at all. <laughs> as well as, you know, it, this is partly blind. Like I said, well, actually, it'll be mostly blind. Uh, I remember getting to a city where it was almost like slumish and like beat down kind of thing. And there was a lot of trainers just around waiting to, you know, do Pokemon battles. So I'll, I'll recognize the place when I see it. It's very gray. So, yeah. And I'm sure a lot of you out there probably even know what it is already, so, I don't know. Digger, 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 ding. Thank you for waiting. We've restored all your Pokemon. Hope to see you again. Yeah, I don't even want to listen to you talk anymore. That thing should be outside of the counter so I can do it. I don't need to talk to you so you can be like, oh, I can put your balls in my holes. Ha, ha, ha. That's not what I meant. But, you know. Anyways. Can't wait to get rid of Jovi, too. I'm pretty sure we get rid of her eventually. I don't think she sticks around too often, or for too long, I should say. Anyways, we finally get to leave Gadian Port. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Nothing is this. No, okay. That's pretty much it. So, let's go back to the H Pokemon HQ lab. Scooting along on our little scooter thing. Oh, maybe it does have wheels. Maybe I was just looking at it weird last time. I don't know. Oh, Michael, could you wait just one second? Oh, what do you want now? The fans said, oh, more memos wrote with the director. I think you should have them, Michael. Okay. I like the memos. They're kind of, they're kind of like mini tutorials on little things that you might not know about. Memo three, memo four. 
I'm a five. And that's it. I'll give you basic information about Shadow Pokemon. I'd like you to read them over at least once. Oh, no, I definitely will. Right now. So, to write in the back of our bag here. Oh, there's the machine parent and our sun shard. Aura Reader's development made it possible to create a workable new snag machine. Oh, then you can get snags out of it. We realized that we could integrate the Aura Reader with the original snag machine developed by Cypher. Ooh. Cypher! No, it's not. The Aura Reader can be made to sign a warning and prevent the snag machine from working if a regular non shadow Pokemon is targeted. Oh, that's sucky. Well, I guess not for other people. The likelihood of the snag machine being abused should be diminished. However, one must always be vigilant. It must be treated with caution. Okay. Thanks for the memo. <laughs> Once captured, Shadow Pokemon must have their hearts reopened in a process called purification so that they may return to their normal state. Like Alabama or Texas. The best known method of purification was to have the Shadow Pokemon spend time with the trainer and allow their hearts to gradually reopen. Oh, let's cuddle up my trainer and he's going to be all nice to me. However, because it requires Shadow Pokemon to be with the trainer, this method, this method placed a limit on the number of Pokemon that could be treated. We needed a process for efficiently purifying many Shadow Pokemon. Our studies led us to the idea of the Purify Chamber. Okay, this is I guess where we get to know a little bit more about the pu oh, maybe not, maybe this one. Purify Chamber, there you go. It is a radical new concept that differs from the usual purification method of having Shadow Pokemon be with the trainer constantly. Okay, it represents a new approach that places Shadow Pokemon am uh, among regular Pokemon so that they become purified naturally. What, in a little machine? Much time is still needed to make this concept real. We need to acquire systems, collect data, and make adjustments. <sighs> I feel stuffed up this morning. And yeah, I just woke up not too long ago, so... Look, we eagerly look forward to seeing the Purified Chamber concept in operation. <sighs> yep. Yeah. I don't know, just some of you really big Pokemon fans probably know a little bit more about this than I do, but... I could never understand the concept of, like, once the Pokemon is in the Pokeball, like, does it have room, or can I, is it, like, does it have a thought process then? I, I don't understand anything about that, like, it just zaps it inside of a ball, and it's like, yeah, you can just stay there cramping this ball, like, I don't know, why can't they make a ball with multiple switches so that you can, like, pick a different Pokemon depending on which button you press, and then, you know... At least then they're cramped in there together and they have someone to talk to or hang out with or something. Welcome back, Michael. Was Jovi well behaved? And yeah, she was okay. Ran the errand like you wanted, Mommy. A bad guy tried to stop us, but a nice person helped us. Uh, yeah, he's kind of weird. Oh no, really? Yes, really. I'll get the details later. What about the machine part? Uh, well, I have it here. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. With this component, we can get down to the finishing touches on the purified chamber. Ooh. I should take this down to the purified chamber on the ground floor now. Okay. Well, see you later, Mom. Oh, Jovi will take it. Of course you will. You've... Jovi, are you sure? Don't drop it. See, even she doesn't trust you. Stupid kid. Jovi can do it. <laughs> and she just starts running. Uh, Michael, how is your Shadow Pokemon doing? Oh, they're all okay. Progresses if a Shadow Pokemon spends time together with its trainer. Oh. Has the heart gauge fallen to zero? I don't think so. Oh, but by the time the Purified Chamber is completed, the heart gauge should be down to zero. That's nice. If the heart gauge has fallen to zero, that Shadow Pokemon is ready to open its heart. But that alone isn't enough. To complete the process, the Pokemon needs to be go through a purification ceremony. It's basically a ritual for it to return. Uh, if the Purified Chamber was ready, it could go through the ceremony there. But, looks like we'll need a little more time to get finished. Because of that, I think your Shadow Pokemon should go through the purification ceremony using a different process. Okay. There is a village called Agate. In the village is the Relic Stone which has the power to restore Shadow Pokemon to their natural state. It worries me a lot to send you to such a far off place by yourself. But I also think it's something that only you can do. Well, dear, will you go to Agate Village? Yeah. 
new place to go. Thanks, Michael. I'm so proud of how you're becoming more and more dependable. Well, thanks, Mom. And yes, I'm wearing clean underwear. God. There we go. So it's all the way over there. Hmm. I got it. I guess that's a, a gate. <laughs> no, I would imagine that's probably pronounced a gate. The relic stone, which is used for the purification ceremony, is under the care of a man named Egon. I will get in touch with him so he knows you're coming, Michael. Well, that's kind of gross. I will do my best to get the purified chamber finished while you're gone. Please be careful, Michael. Stop saying my name so often. I know who I am. Jesus. So, oh, uh, nice thing here. No Jovi. She doesn't have to come with us. This is so nice. But a solo action. That's what she said. Oh, okay. So, we leave the HQ lab and we get to go to a whole new you know, town or whatever. That's pretty cool as well. I'm just expecting to get stopped by someone. No, we actually get to go by ourselves. This is nice. Okay. A lush green town. Okay, let's go there then. Yeah, there is wheels on that. Oh, some bitch. I did not even realize it. Wow. This is a cool looking town. Oh, and the very first thing you get to see is a little chest. We got in here. A Pokeball. Hey, one's better than none. One's better than none. Two hands are better than one. Two hands are better than one. Fun hands are better than one. Four hands are better than two. Four hands are like, you know what, Grubby? You're an asshole. <laughs> and if you don't know who Grubby is, that's an or that song that's from Teddy Ruxpin. That was a huge cartoon on the go back in, I guess, my childhood. It's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still around now. I downloaded it once upon a time, so I do have it here somewhere myself, but yeah. Yahoo, much obliged. By oh yeah, we're going to have a nice little pokey battle now. Ryder Heban. What? These names are so weird. Like, they just came up with random names. A wormhole in a silcoon? Seriously? And then I sent out, like, just a little fox, a little Eevee. <laughs> and Teddy Earth says, I don't even know what I'm doing here. What's going on? <laughs> so, Eevee, go and break that wormhole. And Teddy Earth says, I want you to, <laughs> I want you to metal claw that wormhole. So let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, the bite almost killed it. This thing's what, level 5? Jesus, should have died. Oh, whoa. Metal Claw looks pretty cool. And, well, it definitely does some damage. <laughs> so, let's see. A Cascoon. Are you serious? A Silcoon and a Cascoon? <laughs> oh, oh no. Don't use Harden. And on a Friday night, used Harden. Oh, never mind. Uh, Teddy Harris says in reverse. Oh, I'm gonna have to yell out to it or something like that. Do, 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 do. I do like the fight music though. It's kind of uh, it, uh, it, it's fun, but at the same time, it almost reminds me of like a fishing show or a fishing game music that you'd hear. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of sound so you guys could hear that. I don't know if you've ever seen that in passing, especially on Sundays and stuff. Oh, it's another fishing or hunting show. I was like, oh, okay. This is the kind of music they play in the background. Uh, that's kind of weird, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, I guess this guy didn't have any shadow Pokemon, so that's cool. I guess you can't get one in every battle. Jeez. Oh, Cascoon is... That's weird how it moves, too. It just moves those little spiky things. So he just uses metal claw and cuts the face off a of casket and Kaskin's like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Ah, uh, so there we go. We defeated Ryder Heban. He he My god, that's such a weird name. My name is Heban! Well, you know what? I can't help that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still a weird name. Losing to a kid like you, my dream of becoming a champion is nothing but a pipe dream. Well, that's kind of true. Those choices you've made so far, but... Anyways, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, I guess we should, yeah, heal up the Pokemon, and I'm probably going to end off the episode here, pretty much. Yes, I want you to rest my Pokemon, or let my Pokemon rest. They're already in the bot, like, what does that little, what does that do? Like, uh, does food go inside the balls, and they can eat it, and 
like does time pass faster inside there so like one second on that thing feels like it's like a week or something i don't understand anyways guys uh i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you for watching i'm the old world gamer and i'll see you guys next episode later guys zap